It was just a few days, but it felt like forever. When will they announce we won? Soon. I have written an acceptance speech. Great thinking. Oh, here it is! Welcome back. I know you're super excited to hear the winner of our song contest. So am I. Well, they're here in the studio, ready to play with Cat Go and the Nine Lives! But, but, how could the winner be there when we're here? Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you all Shimmer and Shine, Piggy Giggles. Alright, let's get into this y'all. One day, Leah and Zach were getting ready for the neighborhood street party. Super speedy Zach was setting up a racetrack with obstacles. Leah held a tray of little hot dogs wrapped in biscuit dough called pigs and a blanket. They were Zach's favorite snack. As Zach showed Leah his racing skills, his dog Rocket got a whiff of the tasty treats and leaped toward them. The tray fell to the ground with a crash and scattered the snacks on the track. Just then, Zach's car zoomed right over the pigs in a blanket. Their meal was ruined. Sorry about that, Leah, said Zach. It's okay, said Leah. It's just... I'll just have to make more before the party starts, and I'll need to make the best obstacle course anyone has ever seen. See ya, Leah, called Zach. Bye, Zach, Leah called back. Then she headed home to make more snacks, only to find... What did she find, y'all? She had no more biscuit mix. Well, it looks like I'm not bringing pigs in a blanket to the party. I guess I'm out of luck, but not all out of wishes, she said, touching her magical necklace. Surely her genie shimmer and shine could help. Away in Zarama, Zarame Falls, Shimmer and Shine were searching for their pets, Tala, the monkey, and Nala, the tiger, Nahal, the tiger cub. It was Fury Friends bath time, but the pets did not want to get wet. Suddenly, Shimmer and Shine's bracelets started to glow. Bath time would have to wait. Our friend Leah needs us, said Shimmer. Shimmer and Shine, my genie's divine, through this special chant, three wishes you'll grant. I'm guessing that's what she had to say to bring them out, y'all, or to call on them. I'm Shimmer, I'm Shine, your genie's divine. Boom, Zarame, your best friends are on the way. Up and away went the genies on their magic carpet to help Leah. The genies pulled right out of Leah's necklace bottle. Thanks for coming, said Leah. I really need your help. There's a party on our street later, and I wanted to bring something special. You can make anything special with the wish, said Shine. Or with glitter, added Shimmer. Glitter makes everything special. Leah giggled. For my first wish, I wish for pigs in a blanket, she announced. Boom! Zara May, first wish of the day. Z shimmer and shine, pigs in a blanket divine. Poof. There on the floor were two cute little piggies nestled in blankets. Leah was amazed. You wished up real pigs in a blanket? She explained to Shine that pigs in a blanket were mini hot dog snacks. Oh, I see the mistake I made said Shine. It's okay, Shine, said Leah. I know you tried your best, 
But how were they going to get the piggies home and what will Leah bring to the party? I guess you may have to make another wish. Shine thought the pigs were adorable. She tried to give them a hug, but she frightened them. The pigs ran all around the house, knocking pillows and furniture and anything else in their way. One piggy even took a ride on the genie's magic carpet. Leah's living room was a disaster. I really need to catch those two before they wreck my house, said Leah. I wish the pigs weren't so messy. Boom, Zumame, Zurame, second wish of the day, declared Shimmer. Wait, cried Leah. I didn't mean to make that wish, but it was too late. Shimmer and Shine, no more messy pigs divine, finished Shimmer. You're using up all your uh, wishes. The two little pigs appeared in the middle of the living room, soaking in a bubble bath. No more messy piggies, Shimmer said with pride. I didn't mean that kind of messy, explained Leah. I meant I didn't want them messing up my house. Oh, pigtails, replied Shimmer. That's my mistake. It's all right, Shimmer, said Leah. We still get to try again. Shimmer wrapped the clean little piggies in their snug blankets. Just then, a voice called into the house. Hey, Leah, you in there? It was Zack at the door. No one, including Zack, knew about Leah's genies. It was their secret. You guys stay here, Leah told the genies. I'll be right back. She went outside to see Zack. I want to show you the new obstacle course, said Zack. Hop in. Zack drove Leah over to the playground in his electric race car to see his creation. I give you speed, super speedy Zack's obstacle course of dreams. Zack had set up a super crazy course using cones and ropes. He took Leah through the obstacle and it was really awesome. Until a cone got stuck in super speedy Zack's wheel. Zack assured Leah he could fix he could get it fixed in time for the party. Sounds great, Zack, she replied. I've got to go check on the pigs in a blanket. See ya, Leah, called Zack. Leah returned and found the pigs had gotten loose. They raced through the open front door and scurried into the neighborhood. Leah and the genies ran after the pigs. We have to catch them before the party starts, said Leah. But how? They're too fast. Not too fast for a witch, proclaimed Shimmer. Great idea, said Leah. For my last wish, I wish we could catch those pigs. Boom, Zero May. Third wish of the day. Shimmer and Shine catch those pigs divine. Shimmer clapped her hands and a pink car appeared before their eyes. The girls all hopped in and took off after the piggies. Catch them little piggies, y'all. The pigs led them to the playground, but the pigs got teeter totter tossed up into the air. And kaplunk! They came right down into the front seat of the Shimmer's car. Oh, cried Leah. Zach's coming. The girls dug down before the car went past Zach. I think I just saw two pigs driving a car, said Zach in wonder. Shimmer drove the car to Leah's house. It was a fun ride, but Leah had used her last wish and still did not have anything to bring to the party. Zach was back. As he drove up his car, the genies hid in the tree while the piggies ran right past, squealing with delight. You have pigs? asked Zack excitedly. Oh, uh, stammered Leah. I was thinking instead of bringing food to the party, I could bring these pigs to cheer us on the wet on at the race. That is an awesome idea, said Zack. At the race, 
Super Speedy Zack in his yellow car and Leah in the bejeweled pink car sat at the starting line up for the big race. The crowd and the piggies cheered them on. Vroom! Zack and Leah took off zigzagging around the awesome obstacles and swerving through the curves. First Zack, then Leah screeched to the finish line. Zack was the winner. After the party, Leah and the genies went back to Leah's house. Thanks for everything, guys, said Leah. Everyone loved the pigs. I think these pigs ended up being that something special you were looking for, added Shine. Yep, agreed Leah. We fixed our mistakes and the day turned out great. Well, we should probably get going, said Shimmer. But don't forget, we're always just a genie bottle rub away. All right, our mistakes came out great when we worked together. Can't wait for tomorrow, my best friends forever. With magical powers that shimmer and shine, boom, Zara May. We'll see you next time. Back in Zara May Falls, Nahal and Taya found a new way to run away at bath time piggyback rides and shimmer and shine found a zippy new way to catch them zoom all right guys that is the end of shimmer and shine piggy giggles i hope you guys like that book please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already and don't forget to hit that like button so that you all can um i'm sorry don't forget to hit that bell um, so that you all can get um, notifications of any time I post new contents on my page. Alright guys, bye!